Hey folks, welcome to the Technivers channel. We have another Kira questions video for you today and today's question is all about how to add custom support. So we're going to take a look at the support system in Kira right now. So here we are in Kira. We're going to take a look at some support settings today. As you can see, I have this really awkward model. There is a better way to set it than this, but it isn't much better to be honest and even if I grab it and tell it to lay it flat I mean I don't get a much better option so uh, this is an awkward model and it's gonna re require support pretty much any way that it is oriented so we're gonna look at how to add in custom support so the way to do that is actually kind of counterintuitive we're gonna be using support blockers and you do that by clicking the support blocker button and then placing it where you want so click on the model here oh, I didn't have it selected uh, and you can see it turns clear that means it's a blocker okay and I can actually take this and let's see turn off uniform change the Z scale to 200 nope changed my model it's not what I wanted I want this, okay, Z scale. We're actually gonna go to 400, make it not uniform. And you can move it around. Okay, so right now it is a support blocker and it is going to prevent the model from printing support in that area, okay? Uh, as I said, that's the opposite of what we wanted. So we're gonna take it over here and we're gonna use it in conjunction with the per model settings, okay? So that's this four square box right here. With it selected, we're going to click Print as Support. Now, we can change some settings for how to support it. Um, generate Support, yes, and Support Overhang Angle 45. Okay. Now it's got this check pattern, and it is denoted as Support. So let's try something fun. Let's see. I have some other stuff here. Let's see. Let's try using this. It's just a funky shape. And we'll pull that over here. Maybe. You go to translate and then pull it over here. Okay. Um, and in this case, I'm selecting the per model settings again. And I just want to show you that you can do this with other model types as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be that square from the support blockers. So let's hit slice and and voila. One more thing I do want to mention is if you only want to generate the support structures that you have put in, put in and have a truly custom support, you want to make sure that you have support turned off on your main settings and that you're printing that second model as support or as many of those models as you're using to support your object. You can do them in conjunction with each other but it will leave a little bit of a uh, difference. I mean, you'll get the original support plus the added in support. So sometimes that can make it harder to move, remove because you got a thicker support there. But um, we can scroll down and you can see that it has kept the support in the shape of the two objects that I'm using. So keep that in mind. You can use whatever shape you want to support your object and select using it as support. Now, I do have some other videos on the don't support overlaps and modify settings for overlaps which allow you to cut models or take chunks out of them when printing them and that is kind of something completely different. But I hope this has been helpful to you as far as adding regular support. Remember the easiest way is to simply use these support blockers and then if I take a support blocker and I adjust its size, um, we can do, let's do 10 and... 10 um, because I'm printing a really small structure I just want to get something that will reach up there that I can get uh, get to touch my model um, doesn't necessarily need to be super duper thick so then I can take that and use the multiply selected option uh, but if you're gonna do that I would set the per model settings first print as support generate support and then duplicate it um, so multiply, say I want 20 of these, okay. Just gonna place them randomly and I'll have to assort them myself. You can see a lot of them are down here, not even on the fill plate. Let's go, 
bring that up and you can simply use them however you need them now anything below the build plate is obviously not going to get made and we don't need support on top of the build plate so you kind of just place them where you want them and that's as simple as that guys if you have any care questions leave them in the comments down below i'm happy to answer them and i look forward to reading through the comments and answering these videos so that is one of my uh one of my best ways to get new content is for you guys to tell me what you need to know and i really do like making these videos because i get a lot of positive responses when i make a video for somebody in particular and they're usually pretty thrilled at the answer they get sometimes not so much but that's gonna be it for this video guys leave a like subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss the next Kira question stick around guys I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here and if you haven't already subscribe 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 make sure that you smash that like button we'll see you in the next one Technivers out